the example, like so many in the New Testament, of all the miracles that Jesus performed. God is so powerful. You know, we think of power, we think of might. Think about some instance where you might experience some level of great power on a, on a high scale or high magnitude. And I think of things like natural disasters. You think of tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes. There's a lot of power and might behind these, these naturally occurring events. Right? If anyone's ever been, especially in the midst of anything like that, that can strike fear into your heart really quickly because there are forces involved that are 100% outside of your control that you can't really do anything about except pray to God that he'll keep you safe you know, through these, these major massive storms. And an example in Luke chapter 8, you don't have to turn there, I'm just going to summarize it. When you know, Jesus is on the boat with his disciples and there's this huge storm and they're in the middle of this great tempest in the middle of the sea and Jesus is asleep. And people who are even experienced seamen, Peter, James, John, they're fishermen, they've been out on the sea, they've dealt with this stuff on a regular basis, they're starting to get scared and they're going like, Master, Master, we're going to die. This storm is so bad, we're going to die, we're going to perish. They were fearful because of all of this, this you know, power of the storm outside in the boat. And Jesus wakes up. What does he do? He rebukes the wind and, and just makes it go calm. Just So this great force in, in nature that we see, Jesus is able to squash it just without batting an eye. Why? Because he's all-powerful. Because God is almighty. And that even the, the, the most powerful things that we could imagine and think of are like nothing for God. And think about God as a creator. How, how, did, how did everything come to exist? Genesis 1 tells us, in the beginning, God said. Right? Day 1, God said, let there be light. God said, and it was so. God said, and it was so. God said, let the land appear. God said, that's all he had to do. How powerful is that? I mean, creating everything that exists just by speaking it into existence. That demonstrates, again, the, the all-powerful, almightiness of God. Isaiah 44 is where I do turn. Look at verse number 24. The Bible reads, Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things. So, right, I mean, just right off the bat, I'm going to stop kind of as we're reading through this because there's so many even just little phrases that just go and speak volumes to the power of God. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, so he's the one who saves, and he that formed thee from the womb. God forms every human being, every person from the womb. God is the one forming and shaping and fashioning every child in every womb for every person who's ever been born. God is the one doing that. God's got his hand in the womb, yet wicked people today want to go in and cut out and kill what God is forming and fashioning in that womb and call it abortion and call it a choice and say, oh no, my body, my choice. Not your body, it's God's body. That's God's person that he created in that womb. And who do you think you are going in and trying to kill that person? Who God has his hand forming and fashioning and shaping and, and forming inside the womb. That's right. Murderer. 